Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, uh, Texas, on Monday, May the 13th, and welcome to our video commentary. Well, today we're going to remember something that happened uh, 38 years ago, and that was the assassination attempt of Pope, Pope John Paul II. As many of you remember from the newsreels, he was uh, going through the crowd in, in that uh, van, or, or, or it's like a Jeep, I guess, that he was riding in, and while he was there, somebody took a shot at him, uh, it almost killed him. He was rushed to the hospital. It was pretty serious for a while, but he survived. And uh, of course, he went on to serve 24 more years as the Pope uh, of the Catholic Church. You know, when I first heard the news, it was like eerie because it reminded me of something that had happened just a few weeks before when there was an assassination attempt on President Reagan. And President Reagan also, for a while, we weren't sure if he was going to make it or not. And for a while, we were not sure if Pope John Paul II was going to make it or not, but they both did. They both did, and they proved to be instrumental in uh, the fight for freedom and certainly the fight against uh, communism. I think both of them understood what communism was all about, especially Pope John Paul II, who saw, as I've said many times in, in many of my posts, he saw and lived under the two great evils of the 20th century, Nazis, the Nazis, and of course, uh, communism. He lived under those two regimes and uh, he understood how ugly and how evil both of those two both of those two were. You know, when I look back at this day in 1981, and I think of the assassination attempt on, on President, uh, well, I mean, on John Paul II, I had similar feelings about President Reagan when he, the, the attempt on his life, but speaking of John Paul right now, my you know, thought for years after had been, what if we had lost John Paul that day? How different would uh, the situation in Poland have been, the situation with the Soviet Union? Because there's no question that John Paul II had a tremendous impact on, on, on Poland, his native land, and I think was one of the reasons for the collapse of the Soviet Union that he was able to spread uh, into Poland and some of the other countries that message of freedom and love of God. So... Uh, we will never know, but uh, it came close on this day 38 uh, years ago. John Paul II now was not just a great pope, but he also was a great international figure, as we remember from all those trips that he took. Everywhere he went, he was greeted with tremendous love and affection. And I think it was all very genuine. I really do. I, I think he was a very much a loved figure in the Catholic Church, maybe the the most popular pope of my lifetime. I, I don't know about all the others, but clearly the one that I remember the most and one that I have the most uh, appreciation for. Thank you for watching. We have all of these on YouTube, on Twitter, and on my blog. And if today's your birthday, happy birthday. Bye-bye, everybody.